African American. Pledge allegiance to the flag of Liberia and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The slaves were taken from Africa to America. They were deposited on the Gori Island in Senegal. From Senegal, they carried them to America. They were tied and worked on a plantation. But they stayed so many years in America working on the plantation. But then after they have discovered the machine or the industrial revolution, that is, men used to brush and they used to plant the, the, the cotton. They discovered a machine that can brush the area, whole area for one day, while the human being brushed it for three months. So there was no need. So then they decided. But before that happened, there was a man by the name of Paul Coffey. Paul Coffey was a Negro of New Bedford, the man of Negro and Indian parents. He was a man of ability and a wealthy merchant who spent 1,500 United States dollars, both entirely by himself, just to bring the slave back to Africa. By that time, the slave master never had the idea of bringing him to Africa. Paul Coffey brought the first batch of slaves to Africa and went back to America. Of course, when he got to America, he felt sick and he died. That is, his plan was never realized. American Colonization Society, ACS, from his work, they were formed in Washington, D.C., December 1816, for the sole purpose of bringing the slave back to where they came from. It was not coming to Af Liberia. They were not coming to Nigeria, no Ethiopia, no, no Ghana, no Sierra Leone, no, no La Côte d'Ivoire, but they were bringing them to Africa. So, when they landed, they landed to Sierra, on Sierra Leone, Chevro Island. But when they got there, the Sierra Leone government, under the governorship of Governor Charles McCarthy, by that time, Sierra Leone was under British colony. They were colonized by British. And to see a foreign person, American, black American, a Negro, landing on there was somehow suspicious. So they were to do their political motives. And of course, they denied them. They never settled well. Notwithstanding, some of them stayed there for some time and mosquito malaria. Mosquito bite some of them, some of them died. Of course, the frustration got them. Then they started driving along the west coast of Africa. West coast of Africa. They drove along this side. This is a cape. Go straight into the sea. Then, of course, they came back and saw the piece of water going inland, which is the Stockton Creek, and they landed on the Providence Island, which is... They landed there, no permission, no request, nobody asked them to stay there, but they landed there peacefully. They put their suitcases down, their water they had, they put everything down. They stayed there for three, four, five hours, almost a day. Then, of course, when they got there, you see him? You see this man? So young Liberian. Then he kneeled down. He said, praise God! We have reached him. And he says, the sweet land of liberty, the glorious land of liberty. This is my land. This is our land. Our people's land. Our forefathers' land. This is what he's saying. He was, they were happy as compared to Sierra Leone. They were tormented in Sierra Leone as compared to Liberia. They asked for no, they asked for no permission. Nobody gave them permission. But they, so as a result, they named the first name for students. Some of you here are students, and so some of you are students here. The first name they gave the island was Perseverance Island. That was the original name. The Persevere loved the island, and they were sinking gloriously, glorious land of liberty, and there they landed here. So you can see the ship back here. This is the ship Elizabeth that brought them. It came with 88 immigrants from the diaspora. They landed on the island. Then they stayed there. They and the settlers, they and the indigenous, the native, they worked together. They got there, but the question was, who is going to interpret? Our people were never educated, literally. They were educated, but not literally educated. They couldn't understand English. And the indigenous couldn't speak De Gola. They couldn't speak Basa, Nina Kru, no Va, no, no Pele. But then my children, it was a man by the name of Ching, King Saboso, a, 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 a Madingo trader. He was a trader. He walked along with the Spanish people. He walked along with a lot of people. He was the interpreter between the indigenous and the people. 
He put them together and they all worked together. And they honored a cotton tree, which is Dana. They went under the cotton tree and they made peace. And then, of course, later on, they accepted them on the land. But as they were there, more ships are coming in. They came with Nautilus. It came with unspecified number of people. The island is 11.22 acres. It couldn't accommodate everybody. So they talked to the indigenous and they allowed them to come on the mainland. They settled around Water Street. Anyone know Water Street? Water side area. There where they landed. They stayed there and they moved there. Then, of course, they started moving about. So as a result, you will see them. As you so see here, this is a cannon. And this, is, this guy, Chai, is wounded. And this one is feeling sorry for the wounded. What happened? Well, upon the, uh, upon, after they were allowed them to come on the mainland, there were some other native people that were not happy with the idea. When the men went in a bush to look for food, the indigenous, the, some of the native people came and attacked them. So this is Matilda Newport. Matilda Newport was there, taking care of the people and walking along. They heard him, and of course, she used the cannon, her pipe. The pipe, he put fire here, and then it exploded. It killed a lot of our people. It made some of them run away. So then, when everything settled, they used to consider her as hero, heroine, for killing our people. So because our people were not educated, they passed law that every year, December 1st, was Matilda, to be celebrated as Matilda Newport Day. So we used to celebrate it. Not until in the 80s, when G. Baker Matthew, you know about Baker Matthew? You know about Twan Ray? You know about Ebon Sawyer? H. Bomber Formula Junior? They said, no, you cannot kill our people, and then we celebrate for you. So they went on to do the revoked that legislation. So right now, do we celebrate Matilda Newport Day? No. no, it's not there. It's not in existence. You see, so this is how it is like. Now, until then, we have Thomas Buchanan. After the learning, we have Commonwealth period, which was headed by Thomas Buchanan. He was one of the, the settlers from America. He became the governor of, let's say, Moravia. Eh? He was the governor of Liberia. So he stayed there now until 18, for the, for the summit we had our election. And this man was elected as the first president of the Republic of Liberia, Joseph Jenkins Roberts, from America straight. He was not born here, from, from America, he was an African American, almost mulatto, he was a mulatto. He became the first president of Liberia. Here, they greeting the indigenous, the indigenous greeting them in our local area with a specialization, our tradition. Greet them like this, 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 this. This is what they introduce to them. They, that is, they are part of our society. No discrimination. So this is the flag of Liberia. Was hosted August 24. Every year, August 24 is our national flag day. It has 11 stripes, red, white, and blue. And it was made by seven ladies, headed by what? Susanna Lewis. She was the head from America. So you can see here, August 24 is celebrated as our national flag day every year. America has 50 odd stars, but we have only one star. The red stands for villa, white stands for purity. The black, the blue in the red corner stands for the then dark continent of Africa. And of course, the star stands for the loon star of Liberia. Anything, most of the things you see in Liberia from America. In Liberia, we have Virginia. In America, we have Virginia. In America, we have Maryland. In Liberia, we have Maryland. We have Louisiana in America. Louisiana in Liberia. Eh? We have Mississippi in the United States. We have Mississippi in Liberia. Mm -hmm.